Hello everyone, I'm here from the Hero Game Channel. Welcome back to Kaiserig and to my Republic of China playthrough. Where in the last episode, we finally defeated Qing. Finally. And I'm so glad we've finally done so. Because now we can prioritize and get the rest of China under our control. Um, hopefully, the rest of Northern and Western China will be ours. And then we can divert our attention to the... Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, yes, we shall hopefully divert our attention to them at that point because we're going to have to take on Japan as well. So I've went ahead and queued up some more civilian factories for construction. The infrastructure can wait for the time being. Um, it only costs 100 army experience to continue the army reform, so we are going to try and do that. I'm going to click Assume National Leadership, which takes seven days. I don't know why it's there because... I don't know why. I don't know why it's here. Being the strongest faction capable of standing against foreign domination... We can begin to assert our leadership over all of China and lead the nation against foreign aggression. So we'll do that. And we're also hopefully going to do the expedition against the Shuan clique. Um, hopefully that will go well. Um, we do have 5 to 29 divisions. Um, I do want to get these other guys out as well. And then we've got one other... Another six. That's going to get us two lots of 24. Happy days. I think we'll just go ahead and start doing it. Oh, I didn't realise it was just seven days. Um, not everyone's in position yet. Run. Run as fast as you can. I will just minimise that before I click on the wrong one. Oh. They don't have claims on everywhere. That's fine. Uh, we'll industrialize some more as well. I want to keep doing that. It's good for us. Good, good, good. Right, let's upgrade our anti tang. Go ahead and upgrade the infantry equipment. I do want to get anti tank into production as well. There we go. All the divisions were in position. Let's go ahead and start attacking. Do we have an airfield that's able to have the planes reach? I think we'll reach from there. Oh, and that's bypassed that focus. Ah, we can reach. Fantastic. Great. Air superiority. Don't know why you're not engaging them. Can you just go up to Chengdu? Oh, is this where Chong Ching is? Yes, it is. Fantastic. We will also have to do the focus for... Uh, uh, choose the Republican capital. But I do want to go ahead and do the diplomacy with Northern Warlords, then integrate Northern China, and then... I want to see if we can get Tibet and Mongolia to join us uh, and become, you know, autonomous under us, which would be, um, I would be fine with that. But it would avoid us going to war with them. Hopefully then we can annex them, you know, later on. But at least having them under control would be beneficial for us. I'm going to go ahead and research a Type 34. I do want to try and get some armoured divisions out. We are going to try and do is encircle these guys as well. Alright, that's that finished. Collective conference. Yeah, the first national elections we will get to, but let's do diplomacy with Northern Warlords. The war for Northern China requires careful consideration of politics in the region. Oh yeah, I've read that last, one of the other episodes. But we will definitely be invading them. No doubt about it. No, those other divisions are probably able to join us. There we go. In fact, whoever's moving around, use the infrastructure, please. Be so much quicker for us all. Chongqing is about to fall. Uh, Chengdu as well. I don't know if Yan, Yan, Yan is going to become their capital, but not doing too badly against them. 6 to 12k. We'll hopefully get an encirclement here. We have. We're diverting our division there. Ah, we bust through here now, which is great for us. What the hell's this mean? Oh, okay. Um, okay, that's them dead. Thank you. Welcome, Fuzi Republic of China. Let's go ahead and move our troops to the Shangxi clique now, as we prepare for war against them. 
Not got enough farming experience yet to do that, but that is fine. Got a couple more factories by the looks of things. Oh, a decent wee bit more factories. Um, guns, we are good on guns, so we're going to bring that back down. I'll get anti-tank up as well as you. And... Yeah, I'll just shove the rest on the guns right now, but we'll, we'll lower that down. Nice, look at our manpower as well, it's glorious. Um, we should have integration now. Yeah, we still have three of them to do, that's fine. 100, 100 political power to do that, that's fine. I can't do those ones yet, that's cool. Research that China uh, applying for, okay. Uh, what I do actually want to do is finally change all of them over. Are we able to do such a thing? Um, doesn't look like we can do everybody. Can can we at least change some? No, it doesn't look like we're going to. That's fine. We'll leave that. However, I am going to just grab some guys for just... I do want to have some divisions over here. I also kind of want to beef up the defences a little bit. Uh, we'll also have to get garrisons going. Um... Who are you aligned with? I don't know which country has the leadership, really. I don't know what nationality. Oh, wait, we can find out. The Social Conservatives. Hong Kong Club. Doesn't really tell us who. Oh, the KMT. We've actually got a wee bit of support in here. 11%. We might be able to boost that at some point. Um. Oh, wow. Wow, that gets... One, two, three, four, five. Five cores. No wonder it costs a hundred. Give us it. Give us it at all. So there must be that must be core and core. I think it's two. I think it's three. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, because we also have Eastern Shanxi that will get as well at that point because that must still be occupied by us yeah cool 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 right well that is done probably just have to save some political power up for that let's go ahead and do the reintegrate northern china focus northern china is now vacant of any central government thanks to our capture of beijing this provides an opportunity to control it in this vacuum it is only natural we attend to restore order to the regime in the name of the republic nice fantastic yeah, of course. End the Shanxi clique threat. Um, they aren't really a threat, to be fair. They haven't really done anything. Well, will do though. Is I am going to go ahead and move my fighters up here. I will dump them in there as well, as well as you. Merge and split them. Get them over there. We'll Get you in strategic bomb and ankle search support, why the hell not? So Mongolia has actually not got they've got a decent number of divisions, twelve to sixty one. and um, plus their terrain's an absolute deck, so that's that's why I kinda want to get them to just join us willingly. Uh, we could bypass going to war with Russia by declaring war in Tibet instead, because Mongolia's guaranteeing them. I guess we could also just declare war on McLean, possibly. Russia's going to be dying this episode, or maybe the next one, who knows. Uh, I don't know why the Donkavan Union is just kind of inserting themselves into Russia. Finland, why? Oh, I forgot Sweden Norway is a thing. And here comes the French Republic. I might head up to Europe if we have time. If anyone, if I'm going to help anyone, it is going to be the Barty at Commune. Our brothers. We could maybe join their faction. Is that an option? Mission to Red could be a thing. Create faction, East Asian National League unlocks East Asian diplomacy. Oh, we might be able to invite um, them via that. Um, don't know who else we could invite. The Philippines, I guess we could invite, but they're at war with Japan. Japan has 43 to 227 divisions. Feng Xian has 33 to 82. Oh, we've got 661k now in our army, which I'm pretty, pretty happy with. 
Oh, and we're one PP away. End the Shanxi Creek threat. It's going to take us two weeks to get ready for that. And get those 12 divisions out. And we'll get them to the front. Just in case they do fancy their chances. We're just going to exercise them just a little bit just to get them actually trained up. Yeah, it just leaves one, two, three, four, four countries, and then, well, five if you count the Pakistan government. At least with Japan, all we really have to achieve is pushing them out of, you know, Asia. So if they do even make a wee landing down here, could stretch them a little bit thin. Fairly the Halifax Conference, that always fails. Well, not always, but majority of the time, it fails. Rice backed and the UK, well, not the UK, the Entente, not wanting to work together. Hopefully we can get some of this armory reform done after we've done this war as well. And we've almost finished this focus, so we'll go ahead and see if we can restore sovereignty over Tibet. There's the war, and there's the aggressive push. And there's the air superiority. I wonder who we pinched the fighters off of. I mean, the, not the fighters, the bombers. See if we can just get one of them just to run in there. Yep, restore sovereignty over Tibet. I love how there's a Yan'an, and then down here there's a Ya'an. There's another An. Jayan. I'm probably pronouncing every single one of them wrong. There's a gap here. <laughs> Exploit it. In fact, in, just... Oh, wait, actually, leave leave him out. No, leave it out. Oh, someone else is attacking anyway, so that's fine. Sorry, Yan Yisan. It's just, you, you don't... You, you're not needed, I'm afraid. Um, you're, just, you're just a threat to us. You're a threat to our glorious republic. I'm not sure I could, but we should get it once we've defeated them. Capitals now, Yanan. Which struggling kind of the take, but it's fine. And we've 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 lost more men than they have right now. Hoping that is going to change. Regulars are dob dobs. What the hell are dob dobs? Tibet military reform seems a bit random and strange. I think we might be securing the capital. We're about to cut off all these yens in the north. Oh, we're about to take the capital. Take it. Oh, wait. Can someone do me a massive favor and engage them? And then someone in there. And we should get that army experience that I was wanting. That should be them. That should be it. Thank you. 22,000, 6,000. They have 5.k of everything else. What on earth have they been doing? And a single factory. I'm going to get motorized in production. I'm going to start producing some tanks. Oh, what resources are we short of? Oh, I just rubber. That's fine. Not too bad. Oh, we got exactly enough to go ahead and continue the army reform. The American Union State or the PSA? Well, it seems very random. They're social conservatives, I guess. We should maybe... Well, they hate us. They actually like us. Does France hate us now? Oh, France. We were once France. USMC. Okay, do you know what? Pacific States have 2,000 guns. We have 60,000 guns. I am willing to help you out, my friend. I don't know if you're actually going to win, but you're not doing too shabby right now. With having peace with Huey could do you some good. Anyways, um, shall we industrialize some more or shall we integrate some more? Hmm. 
Well, actually, we should see. We'll just save our PP for now. Alright, yeah, red's there. Get the greens on here. And then, in fact, you're actually going to come and join us because I don't know if we could end up at war after doing this. And if we do, then, you know, we're going to have to prepare ourselves for that. If they join us peacefully, happy days. If not, well, that's fine. What else have we actually got to modify that by? Still, there's still a decent wee bit of modification to go on for that. We do need airborne core. Oh no we don't. One of the following. I guess we got that one as well, right? That gives it air experience as well to it. We get naval experience and then get those three some more. Makes good army leaders cheaper. And then we can go to war with Japan via that, so. God, if I was feeling really ballsy, I'd just take on Japan straight away. How big is their fleet? Yeah, pretty pretty thick. We can declare war on Germany's Asia as well and take back their ports. Well, what I will do, actually, is more production onto you and let's go ahead and research motorized a couple more research things finish in a couple of days yeah, let's get concentrate industry three i think once this is finished we'll actually go ahead and research fighter two and then we'll maybe research cast and possibly naval bombers as well yeah, it should nearly be finished uh, oh no, that's the focus. Oh no, and and the research finished. Right, fighter two. Upgrade the anti tank. Let's go ahead and we could just betray the syndicalists. So we've got to repay. Requires independent foreign policy. In a natural friend in Asia, we should make an effort to strengthen our bonds with them through our mutual benefits. Pivot towards Washington. I kind of want to form an East Asian National League. At the same time, I don't know who that's going to involve. So I'm going to I'm going to send the ultimatum to um to them. What did Tibet say? What what did Tibet say? Upper Tibet Autonomy and the KMT. Where is it? Where is my choice to do that? Aha! There it is. Would you like to be autonomous under the KMT? We can be friends. We can all be friends. Or we could be enemies as well. We, we could be enemies. Yes. Tibet's. Tibet is an autonomous puppet. Mm -mm -mm. And I got land as well. Glorious. Thank you for joining us, Tibet. Now, I also like the size of your army. 23 divisions. Not too shabby. Okay, I guess we'll change the front up now. We'll get the reds and we'll put them in there. We'll just move the greens slightly back. Then we'll get the yellows and we'll pop them over here. Well, that is a good start. Hopefully the Asian cities will also accept this. And then Mongolia, who is just by themselves now. So, you know, if the worst comes to the worst, we will just invade them. I'm fine with Tibet being autonomous. Completely fine. Can I actually go ahead and annex them? We could, but it would probably take some work. Ah, cannot lower them. That is fine. Do you know what? That is that is fine. I am I'm happy with the bet being being autonomous. 
Right, so let's go ahead and offer Mongolia. What for offering everyone else that autonomy? If we're lucky, we might actually be able to neutralize the Russian imperialism. Denial. Wait. Den. Den. Denial. Oh, it's in there. Okay, we'd also have to have them. That's fine. And we're up to 53 civilian factories. Damn, son. Let's get some more military out. We'll also get some more civvies, because the more civvies we have, the more factories we can pump out of military. Just get our industry ready to go, because we are going to be competing with Japan, and we can easily, easily outproduce their factories. In fact, we've actually got more civvies than them already. I must cast join the Entente to be seeking... Um, Safety from them. Let's send the ultimatum to the legation cities. Hopefully, they're feeling... Well, they're feeling like they want to join us. That would be nice. Please do. Please. I hope this isn't put us to war with them. Whoopsie! And now we're at war with everybody here. Which, to be honest, wouldn't be a terrible thing. Because, well... They don't exactly border is really well certain built near and well japan's here but everyone else well in australia is down here well sorry the australian confederation but hopefully the legation cities will just say yes ha <laughs> the legation cities have agreed to finally rejoin china after oppressing the chinese citizens there for many years places like hong kong shanghai haven't truly been free for decades with generations living and dying under european yoke now with the key cities under our control they can at least be free from european colonialism Ah, the legation cities are gone. We have a lot of integrations to do. In fact, we'll start and go ahead and do a couple of them. Oh, this is brilliant. This is going exactly how I wanted it to go. Now, is there an option to demand our land from everyone else? Don't think there is, but um, fantastic, isn't it? Everything is just going all the way. Negotiate with MacLeak and the... Xinjiang clique. Hopefully they'll both say yes. Will you pay this in the cost independent foreign policy? They don't really like me though now, the syndicalists. They don't like me. And drawing closer to America sounds interesting. Just the Chinese helping out. Again, we, we don't really want to be intervening in anything. We'll continue to integrate more land. I'll just make sure I've always got 40 there just to do the decision.